Welcome to the TLX Just In Time videos, quick tutorials just for GBC faculty. My name is Salvador Garcia Martinez and I'm a learning technologies and analytics specialist at the ELTI Center. Today, in this video tutorial, I will show you the basics that you need to create your first course in Blackboard. Explain how to add items, how to update elements, how to delete your content, everything that you need to start your course. I will also show you how to create shortcuts to the most important tools in Blackboard, such as announcements, discussions, wikis, how to organize your content, and also how to preview your course as if you were a student. No need to worry, this is the first time that you are using Blackboard. I will guide you step by step. So, let's get started. To access Blackboard, go to HTTPS colon double slash bb dash gpc dot blackboard dot com and enter your George Brown credentials. Go to the courses tab in the left menu and choose your course. The only thing available in your course is a link to the system to enter your students final grades. Note that this element is not visible to your students. The empty square icon next to final grade entry indicates that it is hidden to the students. Let's start creating all the areas that you need to add your content. We'll do four. Home, weekly materials, assessments, and resources. We'll populate them later. Do you see the plus sign on the top left corner? You will use it to add all the elements to your menu. Let's start with a new page that will include the basic information of your course. We will call this Course Home. Hit the plus sign and select Content Area. The name is Course Home and I'll make it available to students. You will notice that areas that you created have an empty square icon next to their name. That means that they are empty. Empty areas are always invisible to the students. Let's repeat the process for weekly materials, assessments, and resources. Now, let's create shortcuts to the most frequent tools available in Blackboard. We'll start with announcements, used to inform your students about due dates, exam schedules, and general clarifications. Hit the plus sign on the left menu and select Tool Link. Type Announcements in the Name field, and in the Type field, select Announcements. Finally, check the Available to Users checkbox, so your students can access the link. Now, let's proceed with my grades. Note that, in this case, the name of the corresponding tool in the, t in the type field is My Marks. Do the same for the rest of the tools. In this course, I won't be using blogs and wikis, so I will delete them. To do that, open the menu which looks like a chevron located next to the right to the item and select delete. You'll get a set of warnings. Accept them all. I'm not sure if I will use discussion boards and the internal email tool, so I hide them. To do that, like deleting, open the menu item and select Hide Link. If you want to make them available again, select Show Link. To reorganize your items, roll your pointer over an item. You'll see a two arrows icon. Select it, and then drag the item and drop it 
into another position in the menu. Using the plus sign, you can also add horizontal bars. Now we will populate our home page. We need a welcoming message, contact information, and to upload a course outline. Go to your home page. Then go to the top menu of the section and hit Build Content. Then select Item. In the Name field, type Welcome. Tag in the text field a paragraph introducing your course. Press the Submit button once you are ready. Next, we'll upload our course outline. Go to the Build Content menu and select File. Add a name to your file, for instance, Course Outline. Press the Browse Local Files button to choose your file. Let's move to the Weekly Materials section. In this part, you will add folders for each week of the term. Then, you will add the corresponding content to each folder. To create a new folder, select Content Folder. Name it Week 1 and press Submit. We'll do the same for a couple of weeks. Next, go to week number one. Using the Build Content menu, upload your slideshow and other documents that you may have. I will add a bit of everything. You can do the same for each week. Now, let's use the student preview mode to experience a course as if you were a student. Press the student preview button available at the top right of your course. You will see an orange bar indicating that you are using this mode. As you can see, your course is ready for the start of the term. What's next? You may want to start experimenting with assignments or tests. Now that you know the basics, it should not be that difficult to start using these tools. This was a just-in-time video just for GBC faculty. See you next time.